sick. If it wasn't... Oh, Traveler and Paimon? I didn't expect to see you two here. Yanfei? Shouldn't you be at work in Liyue Harbor? What are you doing out in the middle of nowhere? Well, to be perfectly honest, this case is a little out of the ordinary. In fact, this is the first time I've ever witnessed the bottom of the chasm. Oh, but before I forget, could you do me a favor, please? If anyone happens to ask about me or my present whereabouts, just tell them you haven't seen me. Huh? What are you talking about? No, no, it's not like that. Uh, look, it's quite a long story. So if you could, please just cover for me. I'll see you later. Hey! And there she goes. What in Tevet was that all about? Paimon starting to feel nervous all of a sudden. Uh, do you think she did something illegal and now she's gone into hiding here? <gasps> or maybe something super scary happened? Don't be so naive. The world is complicated these days, you know. We should be prepared for the worst. If something really did happen, we might find ourselves becoming our accomplices. Oh, what a dilemma. Should we really cover for her? Oh, hey, you over there! Yeah, you! Ah, someone's coming! But that voice sounds pretty familiar. Ah, <laughs> it's you two. So, uh, what are you two doing in a place like this, huh? Wait, don't tell me. Hmm, you're on vacation. I must say, you two are looking pretty good. Things been going your way lately? Cause I have been doing amazing. <laughs> Hey there, I'm with the Arataki gang. Kuki Shinobu, nice to meet you. Oh, <laughs> all right. I almost forgot she was back there. Let me introduce you to Shinobu, the pride and joy of the Arataki gang. Oh, another member of Ito's gang! Let me tell you, she's one of Hanamizaka's best and brightest, so of course she's in the gang. Shinobu takes care of practically everything in the Arataki gang. She can protect you guys too, you know. A friend of the boss is a friend of mine. You must be the Traveler in Paimon. Yep, yep! Nice to meet you too, Shinobu! The pleasure's mine. I have a feeling that we'll be working together soon enough. So, uh, Ito, if she's the one that takes care of everything in the gang, then doesn't that kind of make her the gang's real boss? <sighs> Are you kidding? Of course I'm the boss! To the four corners of Tevat, there is only one boss of Hanamizaka's legendary Arataki gang, a me. Uh, okay. Paimon gets the dynamic now. A useless boss with an ultra-capable subordinate. Hey, you... Uh, you know what? Forget it. The average person couldn't possibly understand the dynamics of the Arataki gang. As the leader, I can't let myself stoop down to your level. <clears throat> anyway, have you seen a pink-haired legal, uh, mage lady? Wears a goofy hat, knows everything, kind of short. Uh-oh. Her name's Yenfei. She's a legal advisor from Liyue. I thought perhaps you two would know her. Oh, no. We haven't seen her. We don't know this person at all. <laughs> Aha, so you have seen her. Yeah, Paimon didn't say anything! Aw, look at you getting all antsy. <laughs> Seems I was able to get to the truth after all. When someone is lying, their eyes often start wandering subconsciously. <laughs> anyway, don't worry. I assure you we don't have any ill intentions. So, uh, you guys know Yanfei? Well, she, uh, kind of saved my life, so... Yeah, you could say we've met. She saved your life? Hold on, what are you two doing in the chasm anyway? You know that the Sakoku Decree has been lifted recently in Inazuma, right? Well, Shinobu wanted to come to Liyue and pick up her graduation certificate. I came along because it's safer to travel in numbers. Graduation certificate? Did you study in Liyue? Yes, I studied law at the Tongwen Academy in Liyue. Unfortunately, the Sakoku Decree was implemented just when I was home visiting my family before graduation. 
So I'm a few years late getting my graduation certificate. We were taking care of some errands in Liyue, and the boss got tangled up with some millilith while we were standing in a line. He was about to get arrested when, luckily, Yenfei happened to be walking past and helped us out. Yep, if it wasn't for her, our trip to Liyue would have ended with me in the slammer. <laughs> so, you know, I just wanted to do something nice to show my heartfelt gratitude. But she said she didn't need my help with anything. I thought there's a chance she might run into trouble here on her own, so I followed her here. Yeah, just in case she needs me to come leaping to her rescue. <laughs> what? No, it's not like that at all. Look, I, I just wanted to protect her, okay? She looked like she was in a hurry, so I thought she must be out doing something important. People can get into trouble when they're out in the world dealing with serious business, you know? I'm, I'm just being considerate, really. <clears throat> Traveler. That way... Ah, great. Thanks. I'll go after her. Shinobu, time to roll. Dear not, my savior. Ito's coming to your rescue! Appreciate the help. Until next time. Uh, Traveler, did you just send Ito the wrong way on purpose? Huh. Shinobu seemed pretty sharp. Paimon doesn't think you can pull one on her like that. Or maybe she knows that Ito can be a big nuisance, so she's trying to stop him from bothering Yenfei. Oh, if that's the case, then wow, she really knows how to call the shots! Well, at least this way nobody will be bothering Yanfei. If we run into her again later, we should let her know that we helped her out. Hmm. Alright, now let's go take a look at the crash site from last time.